Hey there, welcome to Getting It Done North of Seven. Guess what happened today? I was getting my tractor out. I had some work to do with the tractor, and but I was putting my battery back in after the winter because I keep it in the basement to keep it charged up. And I noticed that my battery cable had been broken about right there. So I went out to my local parts store, auto parts store. I grabbed a new connection for the battery cable, and I'm just going to install the new one back on the battery cable. But first, I have to remove the old one. So hopefully you can see that. Basically what it is, is just uh, you have to undo these two bolts and remove the cable and slip the new cable in here and tighten this up. That's basically all you got to do. I'm going to remove the old one here really quick. So it took some persistence to get this. Cut some bolts off on this cable connection here. They were rusted on there, of course. So I used some of this um, penetrating fluid, sprayed it on there, waited like a two minutes and it seemed to work pretty good. So I got it off and now I'll install the new one. As you can see there, that's where it broke. So the cable's all scrunched up here pretty good. We'll just run it through here. There's a slot for it. Try to make sure it gets all in there tight together. There we go. So basically, all you need to do is tighten that up again. I'm going to use my ratchet and socket here just to get it going. So what I'm working on here is a 67 International Harvester 424. That's a tractor I have. It hasn't ran in a couple months. I, had, I restarted it up through the winter just to keep it going and uh, make sure you know all the fluids are going I took it for a ride and I took the battery back out and I put it in the garage and I charge it up every you know three weeks to uh, four weeks just to keep a full charge into the battery it's better than leaving it in your tractor through the cold winter months And there we go good and tight we got a good connection we'll slip the battery back in here and we'll fire this up so there we go is a simple fix you know just a battery broken battery cable connector just came apart like this two dollar fix did it myself now I'm ready to get back to work we'll fire it up and see if everything's hooked up properly